hello people fisayo here welcome back to my channel on this channel i talk about faith lifestyle i also review books and magazines hope you are doing well if you're new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by don't forget before you go consider subscribing and liking and clicking on the notification bell so you are notified when i release a new video and to my returning subscribers thank you so much <laughs> you keep me going you 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 keep me excited about putting out more content for you so today i am going to be talking about something really exciting let's get into it <music> ago i traveled with my children all by myself for the first time ever <laughs> so normally i go with my husband but this time he wasn't available and we were going to see him in a different country um so um it was very exciting um <laughs> very daunting on the other side i had to read a lot of uh, things because normally <laughs> um my husband does all of this work all i just do is just to pack things get ourselves ready and there we have it but this time you have to check about the rules especially these days that has to do with covid covid rules doing tests you know testing yourself testing the children who to test what ages and all of those things There's so many things kind of a lot of things to to grapple with but um anyway <laughs> it was a very interesting journey and i'm grateful that um, i had the opportunity to do it so first things first um because i had my toddler with me and he hasn't flown before he hadn't he hasn't gone on the um airplane before before so um first time experience for him and for me trying with him for the first time <laughs> so we had a lot of first time things you know happening going on at the same time so anyway um i had to make sure i got everything ready just to make sure that he um he was comfortable flying and it was happy and i also was comfortable because i don't like flying <laughs> i don't like heights at all it's such of a mind feel but anyway we got there in the end fortunately it wasn't a very far place it was less than two hours flight so i was grateful within it wasn't long it would have been a very <laughs> torturing journey for me so i had to um see what i can do to make him comfortable um one of the things i did was to make sure i have a lot of soft <laughs> toys uh, to keep him company and sometimes to hold it against you know when you when you sit on the plane you somehow have a tray so just before the tray you pop that on on his legs so that it is a bit comfortable so that even if he jerks forward it wouldn't hit his chest on the plane so you can either use a soft toy or you can use the neck rest i can't find mine i was looking for it earlier so you can use the neck rest or any cushion and if you don't have any of those don't go buying cushions or soft toys or anything just use a blanket okay all you're trying to guide against is your child you know jerking forward because because it was two it had to sit on its own i know if you're less than two or so or one i can't remember the age you have to strap them you have an extended strap so but because he was he had to sit on his own i had to make sure it's as comfortable as possible another thing is having gadgets so you have you could download um a a a, a movie or something he likes watching maybe on your ipad or iphone or whatever device or android just to make sure it has something to distract him especially when taking off and landing another thing is um have sweets so before we went we went to a sweet shop just to get some um travel sickness sweet because my older son also has travel sickness i also have travel sickness so it was <laughs> it's like a lot of things are going on so i got sweets for my toddler so he can suck something because of the pressure so as much as possible just get them as much as they are sucking or they are licking or something they are able to swallow um saliva is going to reduce the pressure in their um in their ear so that would that would help them 
and another thing is i got um puzzles i got drawing books i got pens i got pencils just so if he's uh if he's had enough of the of whatever it is he was watching it can go on the um on coloring and drawing just making marks it doesn't matter it doesn't have to make sense really and um we got that for him and make sure you don't get too expensive um coloring pencils or or felt tip whatever it is you're using just make sure it's not too expensive so that if he loses it it's not the end of the world um another thing i made sure was to do toilet runs before we got on the plane like i said it wasn't a long one so i could do toilets before going on or just do nappies if you don't want to stress just do nappies okay <laughs> when you get on the other side take the nappies off okay because for me like i said i didn't like traveling or flying i like traveling but i don't like flying so going to the toilet is another thing <laughs> i'll make my life as comfortable as possible all right so you do nappies make sure um you have a spare blanket that was another thing i had um because obviously it's colder up there yeah in the sky so i had blankets around him just to keep him warm and uncomfortable uh, uncomfortable and for me as well and um if you think you don't like doing blankets you can just get warm maybe warm jumpers or coats or um and warm socks as well all right another thing i did was to make sure that um it's had enough before flying um enough food so it's not too hungry and not uncomfortable um and make sure that it's just happy you know as happy as it can be i mean whatever it is that is within your uh, control just try to make him as comfortable and as happy as possible anyway um there wasn't any drama it was just um taking off it was fine it was a bit you know fidgety a bit like oh what do i hold it felt you know the the, the weightlessness almost like falling over and then when we got stabilized in the air it was fine and then when we were landing <laughs> that was a bit funny as well because it, it felt it was falling over which we were able to control it's okay it's fine we're landing just explaining to him talking to him a lot just to make sure he's fine and yeah it was a very good experience overall and um, the one turbulent so it was good it was smooth we we're grateful and yeah <laughs> it was just it was just an interesting one so i thought i was going to share with you if you're a mom or a dad out there thinking mm, what do i need or how do i go about it i don't like flying like yeah like me or i've flown before i don't mind it but for this child i may be concerned because he hasn't flown before that sort of thing i thought i would do a video just to put your mind at peace obviously if you're going for a longer journey then you have to have spare maybe spare nappies or spare food or spare sweets or spare snacks if you don't do sweet just do snacks any snack that you just get your child eating and swallowing that was all that matters okay and um spare anything you know just maybe a longer video for them to watch just make everything double or triple for your journey just to suit your own own journey so yeah thanks for listening if you've watched up to this point i do not take any of it for granted i'm truly 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 grateful don't forget to comment like and subscribe and whatever you do make sure you keep going keep moving and don't stop till i see you next time bye